Hi, my name's Chris Coose. I'm the training manager for Hasselblad. I'd like to introduce you to the main features of the X1D2. So outwardly, the main changes that you will notice straight away, we have a large uh, 3.6 inch rear display. We've also updated the EVF, so that's now uh, two point, sorry, 3.69 megapixel. We've also improved the magnification, which will give you a much larger image that you seem to see through the EVF. The color fidelity uh, and sharpness of both displays have been much improved. The system inside the body has been completely revamped. So we have a new electronic platform, new processor. This allows us to do many more functions much quicker than the previous model. As an example, the live view refresh rate has now been increased to 60 frames a second. So that's almost 50% more than the original model. Shooting speed has been improved, so we're up to 2.7 frames per second. The buffer has been increased, so it's unlikely that you will get a buffer full while shooting. More importantly, the response of the whole camera has been improved. The shutter lag is around 11% quicker than the previous model. The blackout time has improved by 25%. The startup time of the camera has been improved. It's now 46% quicker compared to the original model. Power handling has been improved as well. So all systems are pretty much using less power. Your battery should last longer than the original camera. When you integrate all of these improvements, the actual response of the system is much improved compared to the standard model. Autofocus point selection, including size, is now available from touching on the rear screen. Very, very simple operation. So if I bring up live view, I can now select my focus point and then AFD or focus button. If I want to improve or change the size of the AF point, I can pinch to zoom. All of these functions allow you to access the system much more quickly than the previous model. It's a lot more intuitive, but we've kept the core of the camera the same. So the basic body design, the well-balanced feel of the grip is exactly the same. The weight of the camera is pretty much the same as the original model once you include the battery and the SD cards. And the actual compact size and balance is exactly the same. Now we've improved the uh, SD card slots that are now UHS-2, which allows us to use larger cards, but more importantly, faster write speed. So again, we can shoot quicker to card. That enables us to now shoot full-size JPEGs, and in fact, JPEG only is an option. USB 3 connection obviously is still there. With the new iPad-based Focus Mobile 2 app, we can shoot tethered directly to that iPad, as an iPad Pro, and use that to correct, edit, and then export our images to final client or upload if connected to the cellular network. 